In this video, we are going to get your gradebook set up. So first things first, go to srvusd.schoology.com. Once you log in, you will be on your landing page. You're going to need to open up one of your courses, which you can do by clicking on courses or course dashboard. You will then click on any course for which you're the owner. You'll know you're the owner if you have a badge icon. If you don't have any courses yet, you're not going to be able to set up your gradebook. Once you've clicked on a course, go to Grade Setup. All right, so we've got a couple of things that we're going to have to go over here. You're going to add your categories. You're going to decide on what your grading scale or rubric is. You're going to want to make sure that you are in the right grading period. And then we have some additional settings with respect to what the final grade is going to look like and some other controls. So let's go ahead and start with categories. You're just going to click Add. You're going to name one of your categories and you're going to decide if you want points or percent. Now, let me explain the difference. Total points you're going to want to use if you want anything that has a lot of points to be worth more than something that has very few points. So let's just say you um, don't want them all weighted the same. So I have homeworks, but I have some big ones and some little ones and I want the number of points to be reflected in the total score. Percent is different. Percent is basically assuming that you're going to average all the percentages, not take a total number of points. So let me give you a specific example. If you have one assignment that is six points and a kid earns six out of six, and then a second uh, assignment that it's 100 points and they get 60 points out of 100. If you select total points, that student has just earned 66 points out of a total of 106 points, which calculates when you divide it to 62%. If on the other hand you were to select percentage, percentage is going to see 6 out of 6 on the first assignment as 100%. 60 points out of 100 points on the second assignment as a 60%. When you average 100% and 60%, you get 80%. So the number of points doesn't matter on percentage. They're all basically going to be weighted the same. Um, so for homeworks, I like all my homeworks to have the same impact on their total grade. So I'm going to leave it percent. You can choose how many of the lowest scores you want to drop, and then you click Create. Now I'm going to add another category that I'm going to call exams. But for exams, sometimes I have really big tests and sometimes I have little quizzes. And so I want the total points to stay. I want the bigger exams to be, in fact, worth more. So I'm going to click Create. And now I have my category set up. You can go ahead and you can click whichever default category you want for assignments. And then you can also weight the categories however you want. Notice the way that the weighting is popping up. If you have them both weighted at 100%, then that means for the total um, grade, it's going to split that evenly between the two. On the other hand, if you want this to be 40, and then this one to have a weight of 60, now that is accurately reflected here. Um, if you have a category like exams and there's nothing entered in for it, then its weight gets reallocated to the other categories until you have entered something in and labeled it an exam. All right, so next we're going to do our grading scales or our rubrics. So there's two default grading scales. One's numeric and one is letter grades. This shows you the default letter grades and their cutoff points. Let's say you don't want to use this one, you want to add your own. You can do that by clicking Add and selecting Scale. So you can again choose points or percentage. Points comes across sort of like a rubric, like five would be excellent. And then I can add a level four is, let's say, average, and so on. You can also delete these, give it a name, and click Save. On the other hand, I want to do percentages. So I want to say the letter grade of an A+. I'm going to set the bottom threshold at 97.5 to 100%. And then I can continue to add additional levels until I have uh, all my letter grades entered in. Now, um, this letter conversion is basically, if I was to enter a letter grade of A, what percentage do I want the gradebook to think that that equals? So you can put your own in there, or you can click Use Average, and it will calculate the average of the range that you already set. 
So, you know, name it whatever you want. Now, show letter grades. If you select this, then the student won't see the percentage associated with each um, assignment score. They'll just see the letter grade. However, regardless of if you click this or not, they will see the number of possible points and the total points they earned. So they could calculate their own percentage either way. So you would just click Save Changes when you're done. Now let's say you'd like to use rubrics instead of scales. So rubrics would be listed here. You can add a rubric. This is how it's gonna look. You can give it a title, add a description, change points, qualifiers, you can add more. Again, you would just click Create, and then it would save under Rubrics. And then from there, we have Grading Periods and Final Weights. This you're not going to be able to do anything with until school actually starts, and that they import Quarter 1 Grading Period, or Quarter 2 Grading Period. And then you're able to allocate how much of their total grade should come from that period. So if you want it evenly distributed, you can just leave this at 100. Once you have first quarter, second quarter, you can then see that this will go down to 50%, 50%. So it will average them together and weight them equally. Gradebook scale, you can have um, whatever grading scale that you want from up here. And the calculated grades, you can choose to round it or not. Um, just a warning with rounding, it's going to double round. So what it will do is it will round whatever they got for quarter one. So say they got a 95.6, it'll say they got a 96%. And then it'll round whatever they got for quarter two. And then it will average those and round the average again. So if you pick this, it's going to be double rounding. Um, and then we have a couple controls. You can hide um, your grading categories. This will just show these guys and it will show your averages. So if you don't care, you can just hide it. We have course override column. That's going to populate a column in your gradebook that lets you type in the student's grade. And it basically overrides whatever grade they actually earned. Now, whatever grade you type in the override column will be the grade they see. They can't see their actual grade that they earned. However, all these override columns do not transfer with SIS to the Infinite Campus Gradebook. So be warned if you click these, um, these override columns, it's not going to transfer the grade properly. So I wouldn't do it. Um, and there's also a total points column, which is not always going to be accurate, because if you excuse a student from an assignment, it might look like you have 200 points out of 210 possible points, yet they have 100%. That doesn't add up. So just be aware that there's a little it's slightly problematic, some of these. Uh, visibility, if you go and hide the grades at all, the student won't be able to see their grade, period. So this is not advised. Click Save Changes, and you're done with the gradebook settings for this specific course. If you want to copy that over to your other courses, you can click Copy Settings. You can copy all or some to your other courses, and then you don't have to do this for each individual course. It's just a one and done, and then you would click Copy, and you're done.